So, I was asked by my friend Crystal to make a video team building uh, walking wake in the rain. Thought a little bit on how if, and if this Pokemon would function, uh, you know, in the, in the standard rain build and figured, yeah, why not? So, in this video, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing exactly that. Then the next one, I'll be using the team that we built on the ladder to see how it goes. That's the build, if we can find like any major weaknesses or changes we, we should be doing to improve it. So, with that said, please consider subscribing and let's begin the team building. So, um, we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start our team like every other team with our first main idea. What I mean by that is like the first Pokemon synergy of Pokemon, not just the general idea that we're starting the team with. The, 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 the team with, and yeah, we're gonna see like, okay, th does this idea like? I, what we came up with, you know, I woke up today earlier in the morning. I was like, okay, what do I want to build? All right, I think Walking Wake is a good Pokemon. Uh, how do I make it work? Okay, it's usually in the sun. What if I try to make use of it in rain? And okay, I think based on what I have seen after playing a lot in the in the tier, do, do I think it works? Do, do I think it would function in the rain team? I'm thinking, yeah, all right. So this is a valid first idea. Why do I think it works? Because you can run a hurricane, for example, for a mongoose. You can do you can do strong Draco still. You can use Hydro Pump over Hydro Steam and still still well although it's a little bit more inaccurate uh, it still hits very strong and you know water jacket i was thinking in the rain is incredible like we had that in the past with kingdra but now we have another good pokemon that i can actually make use of it with still very good defensive stats and speed and special attack and everything <laughs> so this is really cool so yeah we're gonna be doing exactly that i was thinking how to make the most out of it and first few things that i, that I thought about i want to do dump rock I've used specs in my rain teams before, but I want to do dumb rock. I'm thinking hurricane, U-turn, surf, and roost for longevity is gonna be good. But I'm thinking with spedef over fistef. So let's quickly change that. Boop, boop. We can do better EVs later. Like I have my damage calculator open for this for this exact reason. But I'm thinking spedef. It's a lot more hits. And it's gonna support our team. Very well, there's a lot of a lot of threats. We have a naturally good feast death, so we can eat attacks from great tasks, see there is cellulets, all that fun stuff. But now with Sped Death, we are able to eat a Shadow Ball, for example, from Dragapult. We are able to eat unless I went Ice Beam Hurricane, so I can better support and maybe even Terra Steel or Terra Ghost or some shit. So I better support my team versus Dragonite. Then I, I think Sped Death Sped Death should be a little bit better. Helps versus Volcarona and Iron Moth. Uh, should be helped versus a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna be doing that. And well, the first idea was specs, obviously, it's because you're hitting incredibly hard. You can do Draco, you can do Dragon Pulse, and you can do Hurricane as well, or even Hydro Steam over Hydro over Dragon Balls. <laughs> but I was thinking, I wanna bluff. I wanna bluff the the choice specs. So. I think I'm gonna do wise glasses because I've re I've realized walking wake nobody everyone expects it to be specs like you see this Pokemon doing 10 mil damage every time yeah it's specs whatever no it's wise glasses this time and you're gonna get hydro pumped on your I don't know in your dragon resist whatever on your steel them your golden or whatever or the opposite you're gonna get Draco meteor uh, for this reason I think I wanna do Terra Dragon just so I can lure stuff with my strong Draco. And I actually want to do uh, Hydro Steam just with, just in case we face uh, Sun. Now, I could also, just in case we face Sun, I could also do this. But I think I'll leave it as it is. I don't want to touch that. We could also do Booster Energy, but then it's not going to bluff Choice Specs or Life Orbs and shit. I'm gonna leave it with wise glasses, I think, and Terra Dragon. And the thing with you is I have no idea what Terra works best on you. Like I have tried a couple of stuff. Electric ground would make sense. Steel would make sense or ghost. Dark maybe. So we'll decide that later. This I think I'll leave it as dragon. Alright. So we have our first idea. I see a lot of weaknesses with it. Obviously, for example, Dragon is a big threat. Draco Meteor from, I don't know, Dragapult or in general, like we don't have very good resistance with this, with just these two. So this is where the, 
the three main the three ideas that I have next for Anik Pokemon's comes to place. I don't know if you have seen my other team building videos, but basically I have three tasks that I'm trying to keep in mind when adding the next Pokemon for my team. So the first one is that we want our next Pokemon that we that we added on the team to have good synergy with our main idea. What I mean by that is that okay, Bellyper summons the rain, then I have the Swift Stream abuser to kind of like take advantage of it when it comes to speed and then we have like a strong hard hitting Pokemon whatever to take advantage of it. So th this is just general general uh, synergies right or if you see for example any of my other teams uh, which one should I show you which one should I show you like my offense where was it what was that shitty ass team there are new there are new sprites and everything so I can't really tell anyway it was a Glimora there you go so okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have this synergy, for example, with a Jack Pack into Orthworm. So I can Jaco a Jack Pack into Clawtail and Toxapex and everything and shit tails. So this is a general synergy that I have with the Pokemons. Does it have to do with like defenses or anything? You don't you don't care about that with this. This is the first idea, just synergy. The second one is that you want your team to have. Uh, you want the, the Pokemon that you that you are adding to be supporting our first idea and the team in general with like versus like the meta game defining Pokemons. That way we have a less way less chance of being swept or la randomly having like major weaknesses against relevant threats. So for example, we know that Iron Valent is a very big Pokemon, so uh, we want our team to have some way of not losing to it, right? You don't want to get Moonblast here in Thunderbolt and end the game in two turns. So the next Pokemon that, uh, Pokemon that we're going to be adding need to support it versus, versus, versus Iron Violent. What else is metagame defining? Dragapult, for example. Dragonite. Uh, Baxcalibur is a big one. We don't want to get DD, Clavras, Clavras, Ice Cream, Spear, GG. So we want some support versus those. So, and the final idea, the third one, is we want our team, based on the structure of the build, to have some general utilities that we would like. What I mean by that, by that is like, for example, almost every team needs hazards, right? Somewhere in here we need to feed rocks. Or like... <coughs> or like spikes or some shit like that. Something need, we need to have one of those. For the most part, at least. But, uh, however, there are... There are builds, there are offensive builds without hazard control. You don't need defog on every offensive build. In more balanced teams, for example, you need like rapid spin or defog. But in hyper offense, when your Pokemons are not like that weak to rocks or whatever, you could skip them technically. You could skip hazard control like rapid spin and defog. So, for example, if you are making a hyper offensive build, then since these games barely last a bit longer than me in bed, aka a few good minutes, then having a proper lead for, ver for various matchups against like threatening Pokemons that would normally lead is important. For example, uh, when using a type of team like this, which is considered offense, then okay, you gotta think, how do I lead versus relevant threats? What are the relevant threats? Glimora is a relevant lead. Uh, Muse Karada is a le relevant lead. Garchomp, Double Hazards, things like that. So these are general, general utilities that I want my team to have. This is the first idea, general utilities. The second one is synergies when it comes to like not losing and breaking through to actually breaking through against like defensive cores and not losing against offensive cores that are meta game defining. And the first one is just like common good synergies. So with all that said, we gave a few examples of like, okay, what do we want, what do we want like to be happening? We, like we don't want, for example, to be losing to Iron Violence. So we could think about some Pokemon that we we feel would have synergy with this team and help us versus Iron Violence. So for that reason, I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm, I'll definitely go since I don't know where I'm going with this, right? I just have a few ideas in my head. I simply just scroll up and down and think. Okay. I, I'm i doing good versus like, for example, uh, Ting Lu. I, I don't have problem breaking Ting Lu's, but they have Ting Lu's. However, they often come with Rotom. So Rotom is a big annoying Pokemon. So, all right, I'm thinking, okay, I need something that supports my team versus Rotom. It also has like general utilities that I want for my team. It also has like good synergy with my team. So I'm thinking all those things at the same time. And 
Since this is a rain team, and it's meant to be an offense, I want a swift streamer as I said before. I want to actually take advantage of the rain, have both power and speed. Most common one is Flodgel, I could also do Barascuda, but I'm thinking I like Flodgel a little bit more in this, because I can do... It hits stronger, even though it dies quickly, but I can do strong wave crashes, I can do Jet, priority, I can do Liquidation if I want, I can also do Ice Spinner to lure... Uh, to lure Quaxire, uh, not Quaxire, how it's called? Clotsire. So if I do this, then I have way of breaking through Toxapex, for example, with Endamungus, for example, with my strong uh, wave crashes, with Terra, uh, in the rain, I should be able to kill. And also have Ice Spinner if I want to lure Water Absorb Clotsire for my Walking Wake. So this is good synergy, I think. I like these two together. Next. So we do have the speed now, we do have the power, we do have the offenses. Uh, Dragapult still looks like a menace. I don't have a Dragon Resist. I don't have a Valiant Resist. I don't have Rocks. What do we think? What do we think? I want a Spedef ish kind of Pokemon. Maybe Orthworm. Grounds, grounds immu ground immunity too. Maybe Orthworm. Yeah, I think Orthworm would work. Who else? Who else? Who else? Could also heal the rest. Brought him a little bit. It provides resistance for my teammate. It also appreciates the fire resistance from rain. Let's try Orthworm. Yeah, let's try Orthworm. It's definitely gonna be Spedef and it's definitely gonna be Stealth Rocks. Uh, Heavy Slam. Stealth Rocks, Shed Tail, obviously. Uh, last move, usually I do Body Slam, uh, Body Press, excuse me, but we'll think about that. So, I like Ghost on this Pokemon, but we can do more stuff with it. It doesn't have to be good. <coughs> I like a little bit, a little bit of attack. I don't remember how much I had, like 12 or 20. So, it better kills uh, Valen with one Heavy Slam. I think it was 20. I'm careful. I have also done this, which should be good. I don't remember what it does exactly. This can, helps a little bit. The Roberts Fallen, and this did something. I'll do. I'll do that. I think. All right. Last move. I'm not sure what I want. I could also do double hazards, but then I need. I need hazard control. And has a control this tier is difficult. You have to do the Glimora, Great Task, D for Corvi, or like, I don't know the situation. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have very much has a control. This is also kind of easy to be destroyed with Shadow Ball. So I want the pivot for that. I could do Hattering with a Jack Pattern. Hattering with because Orthform is gonna be make it rain assist. Hattering. Mm, it's not a shadow ball resist. It doesn't really have the bulk. What if I do it? What if I do a Mungus with a jack button? It's also gonna help me versus D Knight. Hunter is also gonna help versus D Knight, but it doesn't eat shadow balls versus Dragabolt. So I'm thinking right now, okay, I do have the speed to revenge skill Dragabolt, but I don't have a good shadow ball resist. Even with this being Spedef, I don't really eat hits from Shadow Ball from uh, Shadow Ball choice picks. Uh, Dragable. So I'm thinking, even though this Pokemon doesn't still really eat hits from uh, Dragable, I can still eat one and Spore or Foul Play or whatever. But I'm also thinking I can eject, back, eject Baron instead of trying to defensively charge your hits and then get my Flotsel in. It's gonna be helpful. I also have like three Spy Death Pokemon, so I should be good for Shadow Balls now. And I have Draco Resist now. This is also quite good versus Golden Go. And Valiant, so this is really nice actually. It's really nice. Also, it says Rotom Wash. Now we have a Hydro Bomb Resist that is like. I can also block this now. I can also block the. the Vault Switches now. Yeah, I like Rotom. Uh, how much is Orthworm taking from. Um, from Wash? Hydro Pump in the rain. I think this means I can get it. I could even do Among Us to Earthworm and Shed Tail if I really wanted to because of my Citrus Berry.
Yeah, I could do that. Also, like my moves, shiny. <laughs> so we're gonna do sport. We're gonna do foul play. We're gonna do clear smoke because I'm not trying to lose to special attackers. Things like Terra Flying, uh, Golden Go, things like Dragonite, Dragon Dancing, things like Volcarona. I can also, ooh, I can also yam this thing now in rain because I'm now not weak to fire. Perfect. I like that actually. A Giga Drain. I could also do Grass Knot, but I think it's not needed because my team really destroys Gers Garganagle. If it's Terra Water, I have the strong Dracos. Terra Dragon Draco. Yeah, I love that. If it's Terra Fairy, then I have the Flogel. Yeah, I love that. And I can also set tail against Garganagle with my Wolfborn. It's really nice. Yeah, I like that actually. I have this EV spread that I use. It's supporting my team versus Dragonite. Bold. And there are two Terras that I like in this Pokemon. Steel and Dark. Dark is going to make it a little bit better versus... Versus Dragapult. Steel... Steel... Well, Steel is helping versus Dracos that I already have resist for. Dark helps versus Shadow Balls. The thing is with Dark is it boosts your foul play, so you do a lot more damage to Golden Go. And it also do a lot more damage to Dragonite, especially if you try to DD in front of you. The thing with Steel is that you resist now the Terra, the terra uh, normal extreme speed. Which is the only thing that the plus one can 2 KO you, only Terra Steel, which means if you went Terra Dark, you could, and he has already a Dragon Dance, it means he can 2 KO us. So I'm gonna do Steel to be able to resist it, force him, force him to hit me with one more turn that I can do Spore, Clear Smog, or Foul Play. You get what I'm saying? Did that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Basically, I resist extreme speed so I don't get 2 KO'd. But, uh, so we have these for... I still don't know if I want spikes. Probably not. If I went Hatterin, I think I would go spikes. Or if I went Golden Go. But I don't want both Golden Go and Orphorm. Alright, let's think about the last Pokemon. Shetail. Dragobolt is still a threat. So I could do Azu, for example. I want someone to actually take advantage of the Shetail. Because these guys don't really. And also, I wanted to support versus Muscarada lead because it currently destroys me. I could also do body body press against it. So this looks smart. The other idea would be steel. Uh, how's it called? Steel beam. But I don't want to do that. I think here. So I'll do body press to hit hard the Muscarada. And then finally, somebody. I want a sweeper. That appreciates Dragapult. Like it doesn't care very much about Dragapult. And appreciates the set tail. I want a sweeper like that. Somebody that doesn't really mind King Gambit Sacrifice as well would be awesome. Doesn't matter if we're each week to Iron Violet, I think, because we have like two. So I could do maybe Dragonite. I could do Dragonite here. Garton, but that doesn't have very much speed. Dragonite, for example, Dragonite would be able to DD. DD. <laughs> but it'd have to be Dragon Claw, so I'd be able to kill Dragapult in one. Huh. What if instead of. Because I have a lot of ground immunities. I have like neutrals. I have no weakness like to ground at all. And I have two ground immunities. I don't need a third one. I could do Bax. I could do bags with Terra Fairy so I can lure Jagabolt and Shadow Ball is not going to do that much. Like I can easily eat one. But with Terra Ghost I can, eat, I can eat one. It also appreciates the Shade Tail a lot. Huh. Are we baxing it? I like bags. With Terra Fairy so I can resist the Sacrifice and I also have the immunity for... Yeah, I kind of like that actually. Huh. Uh, I'm not really weak to hazards. Except this guy. I could do heavy duty boots as well. Except this guy. So, so we get a substitute from the Orthmore, which means I can do Glaive Rush. EQ for the Pex Glotsires. So, ooh, I kinda like that. Ooh, I kinda like that actually. An Icicle Crash or Icicle Spear. 
It also destroys Rotom. So Rotom among us plus this. I kinda like that a lot. Ooh, okay, that's a good synergy actually. Icicle Icicle Spear for Miskarad lead to Hmm. This seems good actually. Okay, task help. If it's close combat, I can tear a ferry and yeah. Let's do that. Uh let's do Baxcalibur. Dragon Dance. Dragapult. Forest. And then I'll plus one. I definitely outspeed. What if I'm adamant? I still outspeed, which is perfect. The question is, do we hit do we heavy duty boots? Or do we load a dice and hit hard? Because of Orthworm, I think I want to do loaded dice and hit as hard as possible. And also gonna help versus my... Versus uh, Muscarada leads. Yeah, it takes advantage of Amungus too. Oh my god, this is actually nice. I can really... I can probably sub on Amungus. Plasma. Ah, I need a lot of bulk. How much can I afford? That's how much? Seventy-two. Seventy-two. Not really helping. Seventy-two. Still doesn't help for Sludge Bomb. Where's the rest I can set up? I think even maybe... Actually, I don't know if I would foul play. Foul play probably destroys it. So yeah, probably not a versus Among Us. Now that I think of it. What about Clotzar? Can I set up on Clotzar? Like, can I keep my sub Clotzar? Clotzar? I did two... Ah, fuck! That's so close! It's not really worth it, though. It's not really worth it. I think it's a waste of EVs. So I'll do the four EVs here. And let's max it. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of a waste. If I had substitute, then maybe sub leftovers. But I'm getting this the Shetil, the substitute from Shetil once, so it's not really worth it. So let's think about the fairy, the fairies here, the Terras. So we have these. These look good. Terra water, I like that. You are more likely to be ghost anyway, just so I prevent the block, uh, the rapid spin, so I can block it with my Terra ghost if needed. Body press. I think this looks good. Spedef this, and then we can do... What Terra? We have Ghost on Orthworm, which is immune to both Earthquake and the other thing, so this looks nice. But it doesn't really beat it. I could coil it up. So it helps a little bit versus Denied. At the same time, if it has Fire Punch, then it doesn't have Roost. So I think I'm fine with just these two. So Orthworm helps for Steenite. This guy helps a lot for Steenite. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Look how smart this is. I didn't even think of it. Nice, 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 nice. Especially with our fairy, just in case he's Dragon Claw. Oh my god, this, this is excellent. This ex And I have speed with Adamant. Because they are all Adamant. Oh, I love this core. Nice, nice, nice. This, this seems to work. Okay. In theory. We're gonna test it. We're gonna test it and see if it actually functions. As we, as we think right now. But yeah, this looks good. We're gonna do Terra flying, maybe. Just to have strong hurricanes if needed, maybe. Otherwise, a defensive would be steel, ground, possibly. I think I'll do ground. Not grass, ground. Yeah, I'll leave it as ground. Wise classes, jargon. Perfect. So, this is a build. You see how we kind of like put together all six Pokemons? And we we did that based on the, the three ideas that I talked about before. So yeah, let me know how you feel about it. We're gonna be using it in the next video to see if it actually works. I think it's gonna work because I think the synergies came all nicely together. But you never know. You never know with those things. Always test your, test your teams. But yeah, it's gonna be in the description if you wanna help me test it as well and give me some feedback. What would you change if you have any good, better ideas? If you see any major weaknesses? Like, I still don't have a Shadow Ball Resist, but we'll see if it actually uh, proves to be an issue. But yeah, let me know how you feel about the team and the video and appreciate you watching, guys. Bye-bye, everyone. Peace. I'll catch you with another one.